Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to explain why the blockchain is or Bitcoin is taking long to be confirmed or to reach your account. So we have a forum which is called Internet Pro Club and each and every single day I actually go onto the website and then I go to the forums and then I check on some of the discussions that need some responses and we have a lot of discussions right there and if you have any questions for me or if you want to join part of the discussion just go on internetproclub.com so one of the interesting one is uh this one someone has actually asked me about um in fact i wouldn't say someone i sold bitcoin to this person and it was taking a long time for the bitcoin to arrive into their account and they called me several times several times and say could I, why is it taking long why is it taking long to for the bitcoin to reach my my account and this is he is not the only person that is actually uh, uh asking this question but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try and explain in simple terms that everyone understands uh, how bitcoin confirmations uh, work okay so I, I normally love to do some some drawings so how do you think of um, i'm gonna give two examples really and uh one example is the example of the real world of what you actually understand and the other example is the technology stuff so let's say you are you are in i'm actually in zimbabwe okay let's say in zimbabwe okay let's you are in zimbabwe and you want to send money to china okay you want to send money to china okay you want to send money to china and the money that you need to send you have to go of course in any country you go to the bank okay once you go to the bank and then you deposit the money okay once you deposit the money the money goes to the teller okay to the teller the person that you're giving the money and then once the money goes to the teller it goes to the authorities okay it goes to the authorities okay what i mean by authorities in any in any country there is a governing board that governs the finances okay so the authorities they would have like um they would have like um uh, regulations that they have okay uh, Kuda is wanting to send money to China where did he get the money how much is the money all those kind of things they ask before they approve that process and then when that process is approved then the person in China can actually receive the money so this whole process this whole process that's in between when it comes to um, bitcoins and blockchain it's called confirmation okay it's called confirmation okay however that works almost similar okay so there has to be a teller there has to be the authority that authorizes the transaction and then it goes to the other person so now this person a okay and then there is person b okay these guys they want to send money to each other and in between there is what is known as miners okay bitcoin miners okay this is when bitcoin mining comes in play and then now what bitcoin miners do is if person a is sending bitcoins to person b that uh, money or those bitcoins goes through miners and i'm not going to explain deeply like into the blocks uh that these computers generates and things like that just go and research about bitcoin mining how it works so when that happens if person a there is a fee a fee that you pay for the bitcoins to be sent so the higher the fee the higher the fee the quicker the money gets to person b okay because the miners would actually uh that fee goes to the mining companies or the people or the computers that are actually doing the mining okay so if the fee is low if, if it's congested somewhere somehow the confirmation takes a very long time so it can take a day it can take even up to three weeks and sometimes it's instant when you just send the money it's instant it goes to the to the person in a split of a second the money goes to the person so it varies now and then so let's say you have sent the bitcoin to person b and you have realized that it's taking too long you can actually add the fee which is very 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 expensive um which is very very expensive to do so any website where you actually send bitcoins from 
there is an option where you can actually add a custom fee there is a regular fee and there is a custom fee a regular fee is what it takes like the normal they can give you the time frame as well you're actually sending bitcoin and a priority fee or a custom fee is whereby you want the money to get there much much faster so it can take it can take a very long time uh sometimes for someone to reach uh for the bitcoins to reach the other end so let me just show you another tool that you can actually use uh when it comes to checking if the bitcoins were sent or not so because when i was actually having some of the experience with some people when you send them bitcoin they want to know if i really did send them or you may, may want to know if that person really did send you the the bitcoin so this is what is going to lead us to a website which is called blockchain which is used for so many purposes keeping your money sending bitcoins buying bitcoins and quite a number of things that you can actually use it for but in this case you're going to uh, focus on what is known as the explorer now the explorer think of blockchain.com as the ledger of bitcoin transaction every transaction that happens uh, on the blockchain or bitcoin network is recorded and is a information that information is available to the public so what you can do is if you've got a bitcoin address that you have you can actually click here and then paste the bitcoin address to see if the money is received or not so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go on, uh, on on explorer now explorer is like the accounting system like i said earlier of of the bitcoins so as you can see you can actually try and study these things and things like that but what we need to focus on here there is latest blocks and here there is latest transaction if you've ever done a bitcoin transaction anywhere in the world or any uh on any uh on any website in every transaction can be seen here so as you can see here it says latest transaction as you can see transactions are actually kicking every in a split of a second this is the, someone is sent seven thousand uh 180 uh as you can see the figures are changing 770 373 188 as you can see all these are transactions so let me say for example i'm going to click on this transaction okay i'm going to click on this transaction so you can actually interpret what the transaction is actually done so as you can see here it says if i click here you're going to see that it says uh the transaction is unconfirmed that simply means that is the process of the miners that means the transaction is and confirmed what it simply means is that this money that is 459 was sent okay but okay let me see let me see let me just do this simple for you okay this is person a sending the bitcoins and this is person b receiving the bitcoins as long as it says unconfirmed here it simply means probably in person a in person b the money is not reflecting yet but it shows that as long as the information is available on this website it shows that person a has sent the bitcoins and the bitcoins are on their way okay so that's what unconfirmed um that's what unconfirmed means let me see if i can look for another transaction here that shows that the money is actually uh confirmed as you can see uh everything in green there it shows that this is confirmed if it wasn't confirmed it is going to be like this let me see if i can actually go on a more detailed uh more detailed page uh okay there is no uh the sign that says confirmed but if it's green like that and it doesn't show anything it says confirmed as you can see here the status says the money is confirmed so once it's confirmed like that that's when it can reach the point b okay so in bitcoin and blockchain it's miners that are, that are responsible for that so i wanted to explain that in a very simple terms you can go ahead and do your research about blockchain and other things um so the whole point was just to um help this person who was actually asking the question and check out our website which is called internetproclub.com and what we're just doing is trying to create a community whereby people share ideas and share their knowledge and yeah thank you very much for watching and bye for now